Andrew Gilead is buying cancer drug maker Immunomedics in a $21 billion deal. Meg Terrell joins us with a special guest. Good morning again, Meg. Good morning, Joe. That special guest is Dan O'Day, the CEO of Gilead. Dan, thanks for being with us so early out there in San Francisco. Tell us about why this deal makes sense for Gilead. Well, thanks, Meg, for having me. Yeah, we're, you know, we're very excited about the opportunity this, uh, this uh, medicine Trodelvi can bring to patients, first with a very difficult to treat breast cancer. And we're really proud of the work that Immunomedics and the colleagues there have done. But also the fact that this medicine could potentially help uh, patients with other types of cancers. Uh, this is a really, uh, you know, a cutting edge technology in that it's uh, identifies a protein on a cancer cell that's highly expressed in many different types of cancer called trope 2. And this medicine goes into the tumor environment, the cancer environment, and then delivers a toxic medicine that kills the cancer cells. And the results have been pretty dramatic in the late stage triple negative breast cancer setting, which is a difficult to treat breast cancer type that affects younger women. Uh, it's more than doubled what we've seen with chemotherapy before. So this is an important acquisition for patients. It's an important acquisition for Gilead because it allows us to really complement uh, the portfolio we've been putting together of cancer medicine to help patients with cancer, both in solid tumors, which is really what this medicine is for, as well as the work we're doing in blood cancers with our colleagues at Kite and acquisitions like 47 that we did earlier this year. So uh, very excited about this opportunity. And a lot of the feedback that uh, I've been seeing since the deal was announced last night is that Wall Street is generally in favor of the idea of the deal. Many are questioning the price you're paying, a 108% premium to where Immunomedics' uh, stock closed on Friday. Uh, your stock down less than 1% this morning. But we also just saw uh, a deal from Merck uh, to take a billion dollar stake in Seattle Genetics, another company developing these antibody drug conjugates for cancer. Um, some talk that this was a competitive process. You had other bidders that you needed to protect against. Tell us about the process and how you reached this price. So, yes, I mean, certainly it was a competitive process. It started uh, a couple of months ago as partnership discussions, and many companies were involved. You know, you mentioned this, this technology. It has been around for a while, this technology of, of targeting cancer medicines, you know, in this way. But actually, uh, it's a very difficult thing to get right and to, and to be able to get the right level of benefit for patients and, and also to have the reduced side effects as well. So this is something that, um, you know, uh, many companies were looking at. Of course, we had the, the opportunity to look and build a relationship with the colleagues at Immunomedics who we trust greatly. I think the important thing when you talk about price and value is to think about this not as a single product for a single indication, but a medicine that can actually help, uh, potentially help patients with a number of different cancers. So even though the data that we've seen so far uh, in the late stage setting is in triple negative breast cancer, there's another form of breast cancer called hormone receptor positive breast cancer where there's been very interesting data. There's bladder cancer data. And uh, all of this data, some of this data will be seen actually uh, the, this coming weekend at a, at a scientific conference called ESMO. And of course, we've had the ability to see that data. So when, when one thinks about, you know, the value of this, you have to think about the fact that we've also seen data uh, that the rest of the world hasn't seen and that you will be seeing shortly.